Capricorn. Welcome to your December 2017 love reading. It's Raina here. Just shuffling the cards. I've already done a love reading for December. Uh, well, it, it covers the, the rest of this uh, year, uh, November and December. And um, it's for people who are estranged from their partners and want to get back together, as well as people who are in relationships that are fractured, but they want to make them work. And the reason that I it came to me to say that is because you could be in one of those situations in some way where you um, you want to get back together with somebody, and uh, you can you can check that out on my channel if you're not subscribed. It's uh, it's there somewhere recently. Oh, interesting. I think those were the exact two cards that I got for uh, Pisces or something. Or maybe Aquarius. Um, speaking of Aquarius, I do have two cards that I would associate with Aquarius. Let me just start with the past, because uh, usually I start with the heart of the matter, but... The Wheel of Fortune is the past position, which is a great card. Because it's like coming into your own and feeling aligned with something in December. But this is towards the end of the month, around the 20th. You're going to have Saturn enter your sign. Well, usually people will say, oh, I don't want Saturn in my sign. But th this is your ruler. And um, this is the sign. This is the sign that um, Capricorn is a sign that Saturn rules. So it's a comfortable fit, but it's also expressing itself perfectly. So you have those same qualities that we associate with Saturn. And um, other people shy away from some of those qualities like discipline and order and being serious, taking things seriously, frugality, but you believe in conservation. You believe that uh, you don't believe in waste. And this also goes for your efforts. So in, in relationships, you're probably not going to be very happy if you're with somebody that you feel is not... It's not about giving you the lifestyle that you want because that would be a shadow representation of what... Capricorn is all about, but at the highest level of expression, it's about you wanting a partner who is going to add to your life, who is who is somebody that you don't have to uh, mommy or, da or be a daddy to, that you are equals and that you help one another uh, achieve your goals because you're a very ambitious person. So a person who is detracting from that is, you may be in love with them, you may be attracted to them, but you may be exasperated and drained by them. And so with um, Saturn going into your sign, it's like, you're, it's like a homecoming of sorts, and that may align itself with um, the Wheel of Fortune. Now, also the sun is going into your sign. So for most of the month, you're going to have the sun in Sagittarius in the 12th house. And that's going to be more internal, more reflective. But um, it's also 
a time when people tend to feel a bit sluggish, drained of their energy, and then you kind of like come back to life, okay? And it's funny because I, I said that in the past tense, and now we have, um, as the heart of the matter, the Four of Swords, which is actually related to that 12th house, house retreat, okay? So maybe the, the Wheel of Fortune is something good that happened to you back in October or so, you know. Um, oh, yeah, right. Jupiter, it's interesting. This is a good connection because I would connect it to this um, card. Jupiter uh, went into Scorpio in early November. Or no, I'm sorry, in October, wasn't it? It was actually in October. Um, and I, I just mentioned October. And that is your 11th house of hopes and wishes. So this is a card of wish fulfillment. So maybe you're starting to feel like your dreams are coming true in some way. And yet, um, overall, you're being more retiring. You're resting uh, feeling like you need to rest for a lot of uh, December, which is kind of funny because it's a holiday season for a lot of people. And um, what accompanies this during December is the star card, which is renewed faith, uh, feeling hopeful. And again, this could connect with an Aquarius person. But I wonder if you meet somebody during the holidays that turns out to be somebody that you fall in love with. We are having a Mercury retrograde in December, so is it possible that this is a past love coming back? Yeah, I suppose so. If the relationship, uh, you know, was split up because of other factors, maybe they moved for a job or something like that. Obviously, if it was a very contentious breakup, then getting back together isn't necessarily that good because unless things have changed and both of you are willing to admit where you, you went wrong, then I, I would say that it's just um, that feeling of the newness of it, but eventually things would go back to how they were. So Either way, it's a card of like, I to me, when I see the star card, I think that the person may have gone through the dark night of the soul even. And with the, the Wheel of Fortune as the past position, it's like all of a sudden things are starting to come together for you. And maybe you're starting to feel a lot better. Oh, yeah. And your ruler Saturn was in the 12th house, which is the dark night of the soul. For two and a half years. So maybe that's part of that feeling of some, you know, the tide shifting at the end of December. The higher message is the fool. And this is that new journey that you're going on. And this is the spiritual message. So it's like when we say this too shall pass, that Saturn in the 12th house ends and then all of a sudden you're on you're in a whole new cycle with Saturn in your sign and also Saturn being your ruler. So this is a great new period for you and you can really establish a lot of things and yes they can be career wise in the next two and a half years maybe you'll really advance in that area but it could be in your personal life as well since this is a love reading I'm looking at it from that angle, but it's very possible that Cancer, that uh, Capricorn could find the the person that you spend the rest of your life with. It's always possible because, again, you're looking, you're not looking for an affair. Typically, Capricorn people want something that is long lasting. Saturn is about old age. Okay, so. It's about the long haul. It's not about youth, okay? Even some, some uh, people, if you have Venus in Capricorn, you may be attracted to older people who are older than you. Uh, that might be a pattern with you. So you, it's not that you are always looking for someone who is um, of a certain look or they have to be a certain age um, and you can feel 
that you are attractive because you attracted somebody who's 20 years younger than you. No, it, it's not that at all. It's about somebody who is stable, somebody who is, you know, uh, I was going to say predictable, but that sounds boring. But somebody who is dependable and somebody who you can feel you have a life with. What crosses you is represented by the Hermit card. Two things. Well, first of all, Virgo connects with this card. So if there was a Virgo who may be trying to worm their way back in your life and you know that the relationship was not a good one, just be aware that they may try during that Mercury retrograde to come back. The, the thing is that Virgo is an Earth sign. So... Earth is compatible with your goals in life, but obviously individual um, Virgos may be different in terms of how you relate to them. Mileage may vary, but this is also a card about excessive isolation. I think of Capricorn as one of those um, very solitary signs. And at least you can be, not that you automatically are. And you're very self-reliant, you're very self-contained. And that may be a pattern for you that you have to kind of really figure out a way to break. Um, because if you don't get out there, you might have the best astrological transits, the best tarot cards um, showing that you're going to have a great run of things. But if you don't get out there, obviously, uh, unless they knock on your front door, it's not going to happen. One tip that I have, if you're somebody who doesn't like social situations like parties that are very open-ended, is to consider more structured situations. Like, for instance, today I'm going to a spiritual workshop and that is kind of more uh, directed towards a particular thing, you know, uh, topic. And so there is social interaction. You do meet people, but there's not just like this total chaos where you have to think of things to say. It's, it's very um, uh, organized. And that can appeal to people who find themselves shy. And I do think that a lot of Capricorn people just looking at the sun signs or the rising signs tend to be shy. And, um, and that might appeal to you more, especially if you, since you like to be productive and you don't want to do something that's frivolous. Uh, you, can, you can learn something by going to a workshop or some, some kind of a group and still get that social interaction at the same time. What is coming in is the Nine of Cups, as I referenced earlier. So this is the card of wish fulfillment. Feeling emotionally satisfied because these are cups, so they're going to connect to the emotional realm. But this can actually transfer to material um, well-being as well. Oh, I got this book here, one of my favorite references. And I'm going to look up what they say about the Nine of Cups this is, you can see how, um, it's Anthony Lewis, plain and simple. It's very well-worn because I've referred to it so much. But I want to see if I'm correct about this because I think this is a good money card, you know, um, abundance card in general. Not that that matters for a love reading. Gratification, comforts, these are the key words. Health, happiness, plenty. Financial well-being, a dream come true, a desired marriage. You get what you want, what you wish for. When you wish upon a star, your dream comes true. Eat, drink, and be merry. Now, again, we are in December, so there may be this... Um, period of time where you're you're socializing and and it, I think it's important too looking at it from a law of attraction perspective one thing that they talk about is really paying attention to your feelings and generating these positive feelings when you're in a period of 
enjoyment, like at a party where you really enjoy your company, that kind of feeling that generates can make you more attractive to attract love to you. So that is something to consider as well. And you may be like, that might be the circumstance where you meet that person. And then the outcome is the Magician card, which I love, one of my favorite cards. And this is Self-Mastery. And this is a card that I do associate with Capricorn in a lot of cases. Capricorn is very resourceful, and you can take a little and make it into an empire. And with your love life, that can apply as well. You can take a chance meeting, and I'm putting chance in air quotes, and just by your application and wise application, you can turn that into the love of your life. A lot of Capricorns, just looking at it from the sun sign perspective, are not necessarily these, you know, grandiose romantics. Okay, you're much more concerned with practical matters. So this is what I'm talking about with the magician, is about building your life. From the ground floor up and that includes the person that you spend your life with so maybe another interpretation of this card is looking at that new moon in Capricorn which is actually in January not December and it's uh, I believe it's January 16th and making um, if you haven't met anybody in December by planting seeds of intention what is my perfect partner what is my dream partner? What do they look like? Um, but I have a feeling that some of you will meet somebody during the holiday season. And you're going to be off on a whole new journey. Uh, the, the past is a, a complete... Um, it's, it's almost like it never happened. Because the, the fool has a very small knapsack, so they're not carrying a lot of emotional baggage with them. I would dare say they're not carrying any emotional baggage. Their baggage is that which they can actually use in their life. Emotional baggage you can't use. But wisdom you can use, and you can bring with you to your next relationship, that's for sure. If you have been through the dark night of the soul in some relationship or in your life in general, having Pluto transiting your sign definitely has brought probably dramatic changes to your life. And that may feel very unnerving at times, but in the long run, you're going to um, understand why it happened the way it did. Okay, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like a private reading, and with my love readings, I really focus a lot on astrology and your particular blueprint for this lifetime called your natal chart, you can um, click on the link below. I'm offering 20% off of all of my readings in November, if you're watching earlier, or this, and December, with the coupon code JUPITER. Otherwise, have a great December. Take care. Bye.